Hello and welcome to another Comp Wiz tutorial. I'm Ross, and today I'm going to be showing you how to background remove something, or like uh, make the background of an image like a certain color or a gradient, or pretty much whatever you want. So just go into a file and open a picture that you have already uh, saved of maybe yourself uh, that's just smiling or something. I could use that, but I'll use this. So we're going to be using the Intelligent Scissors tool just because it's the best for uh, like making yourself or just uh, it helps a lot than doing layer masking so I'm going to speed this up while I do it uh, just follow my lead by clicking around whatever you want to uh, select so I'm going to speed this up right now Okay, and now we're back. Uh, since I kind of messed up right here, because I don't know what I was doing, but uh, here, I'm just going to fix it by just going like that and putting it back. So I just added to the selection there. Oh, and here, uh, if there's any, like, your arm takes some part of the picture out, you'll need to rip uh, subtract from the selection and then that part of the selection is gone. So now go into select invert. So now you're selecting all the background not the part that you selected and create a new layer and while you're on your top layer right click and add an alpha channel. This will pretty much just make it so that uh, you can have a transparency in it. And then just press delete or X uh, if you're using a Mac I think that'll work. But uh, now if we don't select the background uh, you can see that it's just transparent behind it. And that is a short uh, tutorial on how to use the intelligent scissors. But the intelligent scissors I didn't really go over what it does. It pretty much just uh, kind of mixes a uh, line selecting, uh, like the free select, instead of this, like where it's just uh, straight lines, it's actually changes to the image. So as, like if I wanted to select this, notice how it goes in a kind of a arc, and it goes all around the eyelid to wherever you clicked. And then you just press it again and then click enter. Oops. And then you just go around it till you select like the entire whatever um, eyelid and just press enter and then that's your selection. Uh, that's very useful when you're going around things when the actual image you want is kind of different than the background. But if it's uh, very similar, it will select it, uh, like uh, if the background was white and you want to take out a white object, it won't really work that well. But if I wanted, that's a pretty good selection of the eye. So, and then you can delete it or whatever you want. And that's a pretty short tutorial on how to do a background removal, but I did say that we will uh, make like the entire background a certain color so you can just go under your paintbrush tool select the color you want and then you just fill it in and then uh... it doesn't look that great but if you took more time on it and maybe you know uh, change the edges you can erase it with a soft brush which would work you know and if you just took your time with it, it would look a lot better. Like this, you can just take that off with the eraser tool. So, and that's a short tutorial on background removal. Uh, thanks for watching. My website is compwiztutorials.webs.com.
Uh, please rate, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.